to be here with all of you. I'm Jay I'm Padina, the Development Director for the National Organization for the Reform of Marijuana Laws. That is the thick side. I know you all are CV. I am here to introduce the one and only And Bennett Road, I think, is the country's oldest marijuana smoker, but nonetheless, it's true. Uh, I appreciate the good work Carol has done now for 52 years. Uh, I, I want to say first, I want to thank the people who have uh, taken made the effort to do one of those this year in New York City. It's a great event. Uh, certainly, Michael O'Malley is one of the major people that puts it on, but I know he has a number of friends and supporters as well. Uh, I want to acknowledge the incredibly good work that David Holland and Empire State Normal have done in the last few years. And Joe Bondi, Joe has reached out to the minority communities that uh, all of these social equity initiatives have tried to bring in and make sure they're qualified for license. Those haven't always worked the way they're supposed to, but I think Joe Bondi deserves a great deal of credit for the work he continues to do in that area. Uh, and I want to say to you that I would be there tonight, I would have loved to have been there, but for the last two years, coincidentally, the dates of the normal formal have been the same dates that normal holds its annual legal seminar in Aspen, and that's where Jim Michelle and I and most of the normal staff are this week. Uh, so hopefully by next year we'll talk in advance and avoid the duplication because I would love to join you in person. I, I want to basically just say how celebratory I feel, and I hope all of you do, about the progress we've made in New England in the last year, in particular in both New Jersey and New York. And there are probably no more important states in the whole country than those two. They're large, they're dynamic, they're, uh, when, when New York and New Jersey makes a change to legalize marijuana, that sends a strong message to the other states who have not yet done And both states have done a creative job. It's not perfect, but there's some things left out in, in each of them. But uh, let me point out the one thing that I think when we look back in a few years, uh, New York will be remembered as the state that finally broke through this barrier that said you could only smoke at home. Uh, only smoke at home works if you're a middle-class person who owns your own home or rents your own home. But there are millions of marijuana smokers who live in apartment buildings where you're not allowed to smoke cigarettes or marijuana. And uh, so what does legalization mean to them? It means that they're kind of left uh, trying to hide in the shadows and still smoke like they did when marijuana was illegal. Well, New York State, the first state to do this, has said that any place where it is legal to smoke tobacco, it is now legal to smoke marijuana. Now, as we all know, you can't walk down in front of major apartment stores and smoke tobacco. You have to be a certain number of feet away from the door, etc. But in neighborhoods, you are, it is legal to walk on the street and smoke tobacco. And as of now, it is legal in New York for adults to walk down the street in the neighborhood and smoke marijuana. I think there will be many, many states that are going to copy that provision. They're going to look at it. They're going to see, did it cause any problems? No, it's not going to cause any problems. It's simply going to lower the number of people that get arrested. It's going to allow people that aren't as rich and, and upper class to have the same privileges as those people who own their own homes. So, I think it is an incredibly significant development. I thank all of you who were involved in that. And as I say, when we look back on this in a few years, uh, what I really think we will remember the New York law as the moment we recognize there's nothing wrong with the responsible use of marijuana. And if it's okay to smoke a marijuana a tobacco cigarette someplace, and it sure as hell ought to be okay to smoke a marijuana cigarette like this. Thank you all. I wish we were with you. Uh, have a good time tonight, and thank you for your support for Normal and for the drive to legalize the responsible use of marijuana. Thanks.
Thanks so much to Keith and Jen Michelle for zooming in from Colorado. Now I want to hand over the festivities to Kim B, who's our MC every time at the North Wall. She can't be talked. She's A plus. Kim B.